No. No. Who lets me do anything? Hi, cozy friends. Hello, 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 hello. Let's door. Let's door. My partner's in the room. He's over there. Baby, show your feet. <laughs> He's playing uh, Fortnite on the TV. Once again, I don't remember where the, what the hell we were doing. I don't know what we were doing. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna, I don't think we were doing anything of significance. Maybe we went to the mines. Maybe. It's days like this. I'm really happy about my heavy duty boots. Like, uh, <laughs> why would you tell me? That? I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm your wife. That makes sense. Okay. Alex's birthday. We don't care. We don't even care about birthdays anymore. Okay. Sick. Amazing. Amazing. Well, I suppose I'll just check on... Oh, hello. Well, no, because we don't have anything. We don't have any wine ready. I remember this time. I remember. Oh, it's raining. It rained the other day for the, like, first time we were here, I think. Maybe the first or second time we were, we, since we moved here. It was really lovely. It was really lovely. Because anytime it rained before, back in the days, back in the old SF NorCal days, it was a day like any other. But now it's kind of nice. It's nice. And I had a whole reset day when it was raining. And so it was like a cleansing rain, you know. Okay. Let's check our wine, friends. I'll keep this in my inventory in case I'm going to the mines. But, you know, do I want to go to the mines? You know what I did do today, though? is I played Coral Island on stream, which I guess came out, y'all, I'm so behind. Not behind. I hate using the word behind when it's not necessary. I am not up to date on any gaming releases and gaming news, which is okay with me. Like That's not something that I'm trying to be. I'm not trying to be up to date because that just like stresses me out. But I like, of all of the things to not know about Coral Island release, I just didn't know about it. And the Lake, the Lake Seasons Greetings release, both of which aren't on Switch, by the way, which is sad. I'm upset for y'all that don't have PCs that a lake is not not out on pc tragic 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 what was my point in saying all that then i haven't been up to date and that's okay because i just go i stream and then people go oh have you played this yet and i'm like it's out and they're like yes and i go oh my god thank you so much for telling me but i was playing coral island today on stream and it was really nice i've told y'all i'm like fatigued with farming sims and i think it's because stardew was such a fixture in my life like literally almost two out like an hour and a half to two hours a week every week for the past two plus years i don't like i don't have the capacity for other farming sims you know what i mean i could i can i can only spread my farming sim love so far <gasps> i need hay and stardew it is stardew gets all of my attention and farming sim capacity but yeah coral island is fun i have fun playing it and it, in a way that's like i could see i could see myself going back to play it which you know what is what i said when the the alpha was out of the game or beta or whatever it was and then i didn't <laughs> but i think i just kind of forgot about it and now that it's out out i'm kind of done to play it i also kind of want to try it on xbox but everybody said it's been crashing which is unfortunate maybe we can try steam deck i'll see i'll let y'all know i'll update y'all how it goes on steam deck yeah i don't know i think i just don't want to i don't often want to sit on my butt to play a game you know what i mean and that's just my truth that is just my truth also i appreciate y'all y'all's responses last week because that was even before i like things changed so quick but I, I i like i wasn't even fully speaking on anything definitively and i still appreciate y'all for being like i see you you know like i didn't even have to like speak on anything definitively and you guys were just like i see you i heard heard you and um thank you for that I feel like there has been hello oh one of the things i wanted to say was somebody i think i mentioned iron flame last time because someone commented and was like look into her politics and i was like god dang which which leads me to say it 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 be the ones you trust the most it really is the ones you trust the most but like the it's the authors that write about literal revolutions literal like systemic corruption and uprising against that systemic corruption it's those exact authors that end up having crazy either 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 like completely contradictory politics personal politics or just like so neutral to the point where it's like are you not are you like are you writing and there's nothing going on up there like are you right are you writing about a revolution and we in this house me and my partner and maya we've been watching um hunger games the hunger Games series we just finished the second one and we were just having this conversation because 
not that I don't know the the writer of the Hunger Games, and I don't know if if she has questionable politics, but like the vibes of a lot of the things where like certain connections don't make sense or like certain certain motives don't make sense. It's like because I feel like revolution and systemic oppression, all of that is like used as just a plot point. Let me focus. Is used as a plot point rather than like it coming from somewhere. Like we were we were like it feels like the author going, wouldn't it be insane if this is how the world worked like wouldn't that be so kooky crazy if like people actually ran governments like this like if people were oppressed in in this way that would be crazy but anyways here's a fictional story and it's like look around bestie look around anyways that's kind of what what i am now getting from the first wing author apparently so frustrating it's very frustrating that's it that's that's my only thoughts that's my thoughts wrapped up you got him but Hunger Games has been uh, mostly good. Mostly good. I only watched to Catching Fire when they came out, and then I just never watched the third and fourth one. So that's why. I mean, that's not why we're watching it, but I'm excited to watch. And we are now committed fully to watching all of them. Also, okay, I think I'm going to go to Ginger Island just check it out. Check it out because I'm not doing nothing of importance right now. Oh, I need to get. Hey, shoot. Oh, it's not going to be open now, is it? Let's just check, anyways. I could get grass no i can make grass no because it's raining they're gonna hate me regardless also i got a metaquest three and oh my gosh who lets me do anything marnie please marnie please <sighs> got a metaquest three and one of my friends my recent one of my recent la friends that i made here uh she's super sweet her name's esty and like on instagram her username is just esty and she's an artist like she's a full music artist and makes fantastic music but she's also like cozy gamer and so she reached out to hang out and then we've been hanging out ever since and she's just the sweetest but she was like you have a meta quest like i am obsessed with vr chat like let's have a, a vr chat play day i was like oh my god okay and what am i doing ginger island so <laughs> she was showing me around vr chat and i always thought of vr chat as kind of like this terrifying place where like not not even creeps but just kind of like the internet's most interesting and oh my god no our our gates our gates Oy. the the inter the internet's most interesting people go and uh, interesting complimentary in some ways and interesting derogatory in other ways you know but I, i've always just been scared i've thought it's kind of been like basically an open world like chat room and it's not it's not and that's the same way i think about roblox and it's also not like that i'm sure which i'm sure is why it's so popular but you can basically you can go to all of these worlds like user made worlds and just explore and like you can explore privately or or you can go in ones that like other users would be in so we were going in ones that like other people were in but everyone was so nice like everyone was genuinely nice we went to this one world where like there were just ducks you just feed ducks you're at a park you pick up food and you feed ducks it was amazing it was amazing and there's a lot of like kids there and they're kind of just running around like hey what's going on but in the other worlds there's it's not only it's like mostly adults just kind of like chilling <laughs> we went to these we went to these rooms and it's like there's like like the cozy ambiance videos this is how sd described it to me like the cozy ambiance videos that i love to play on youtube it's like being in one of those you know it's like being inside of one that's exactly what it was like too so we would just go to like a nice you're in like a high rise high rise room with a bunch of cozy beds and then there's like a player where you can play like someone's playing music or you could all watch a movie together or you can watch you could be there privately and watch your own like youtube watch later list or something it's so cool it's literally so cool but we went to one and, and it was just like just just like people chilling they were just chilling out like some people were drawing some people were like chatting it up we were just sitting there and then eventually people left and then it was just us we were just like laying we were just laying there it was so lovely i'll highly recommend if you if you at all are interested in vr but you've been like i don't know like i'm, I'm not sure definitely do it it's really fun and then yesterday i was like to my partner i was like let's do let's explore let's let's go by ourselves and so we were just kind of exploring like trying to find worlds and i was like i wonder if they have a bug snacks world they do they do they have like a perfectly recreated bug snacks world for every single one of the little biomes 
oh my god i almost cried like i nearly cried the music almost made me cry and then they have an and they have these things called like avatar worlds where you can go and like the person who created the world puts up a bunch of avatars that like you can become so like your avatar you can just like switch whenever and when you go to avatar worlds you can basically like collect avatars to like use whenever and somebody made a bug snacks avatar world that has every single bug snacks Bonger? every single bug snacks all of the big bug snacks all of them every bug snacks and it's amazing it's phenomenal and all of the grumpuses is that what they're called i forget all just all of the the characters oh it's amazing it's amazing just be the things vr has done you know i feel like there's something for every everyone oh i want to see if they have like a like a twilight world or like a i don't know i'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep searching there's like endless endless things you could do anyways they all that's my <laughs> that's my update <laughs> my personal update is that i love vr it is fun okay day one done day one done day one done and we have done nothing day one done and we um harvested some crops that's all we did we sold some things yes go off Ten thousand. that's that's a big chunk in our 10 million thank you thanks also my partner is leaving this weekend leaving tonight actually for a trip until like monday and I feel like I'm just gonna be living. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna implicate Maya and we're just gonna be living in the VR worlds, I think. That's my plan. I think we're, I think we're good here. I think I could go home. I think I'm okay with going home. Let's just go to the mines, I suppose. Let's just go. Oh, you know what it is? I don't have an auto feeder for them. I don't have an auto feeder, right? Isn't that, I have to have the big barn to have the auto feeder. So I literally just have to manually feed them. It's not that I'm out of hay oh my gosh look at me too big for my britches forgot my roots forgot from wednesday came and oh they're so mad at me i'm sorry they're not gonna grow now they hate me no no i'm sorry i'm so sorry look they're like they're really over here like bitch where were you i'm sorry dudes can i not oh do i do it from inside oh my gosh look at me I'm just the worst mother ever, you know? I have all of the all the means to feed him, and I just didn't. I just didn't. I'm sorry, buddies. I'm sorry. Eat your hay. Ugh, okay, let's go. Let's go. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. To the mines we go. I need to know how many days. I, like, I should be paying attention to how many days, because I, I just check, and I feel like it's such a waste of time to just keep checking the wine. I need to know how long wine takes. Let's look it up. Seven days, seven days, seven days. Okay. So, okay. <laughs> so it's always gonna be like two playthroughs, basically. Every, every, every other playthrough, we should have new wine. Is that right? Yeah. Here we go. I didn't bring freaking, what's it called? I don't wanna talk about it. Did he just throw a bone at me? Who throws a shoe? Honestly. Can they do that? Can they do that? You know what I mean? Oh my gosh, we watched Five Nights at Freddy's. Okay, so I feel like I had two friends that watched it. My friend who I don't think he cares, like, I don't think he's like played the games or is interested in the lore. And then Alyssa, who I think same, I think same, like maybe has seen the games and stuff, but I don't think cares about the lore. Alyssa said it was like five out of 10. And my friend David was like, it was bad. Like, it was not worth a movie ticket. And I was like, oh, okay. I was like really looking forward to it. And I love the lore. Like, it's one of my hyper fixations. So I had very low expectations going into it. Y'all, I loved it. I loved it. Did I think it was a good movie? I don't know, but I loved it. I loved it. I don't, I don't think it like, I think that the, <laughs> I think the problem is that you have to, you like, you just have to love the franchise and you have to know a lot about the franchise to like really enjoy it and then to kind of suspend your critique of other things. But like on the whole, especially for like PG-13 or whatever movie, I feel like they did really well. And I also think they did really well with the story when the way that the game works in no way could be replicated in a movie. You know what I'm saying? Like the game works so that you are basically watching a security cameras of these animatronics. And then like, they'll come up to two doors. You have two doors next to you. They'll come up to it and you close the doors to like make them go away. And then if you don't, they come and like attack you. But, and then once you get attacked, it's 
like the end of the game. That's like you, it's game over. You have to restart. So like, how would you replicate that scary aspect in a movie? How would you replicate that? You can't. Like you can't unless it's like because like you can't. You're dead. You know what I mean? You're dead. That's the end of the game. So I feel like they did a really good job and made it like did it in such a creative way that you're like I don't know. There's so many. There's so many either video games turn movies or books turn movies or whatever turn movies where you kind of like eye roll at the things they had to do to make it make sense for a movie. Not once did I do that. I was like, I was shocked. I was surprised. I was like, that is, that's, a, that's good. That's just good writing. Like that was okay. So yeah, I thought that was really strong. And I think if you don't, maybe if you don't know about the game, I think that would have just been, I think maybe it would have come up short if you didn't know about the game. Cause you would have been like, I feel like they could have made this a lot scarier. Or like, I feel like they could have made the threat of the anim animatronics more like direct. But, and I don't want to spoil, so I'm not giving specifics. But <laughs> it's also on Peacock if you have Peacock. But I thought it was really good if you understand, like, how the game works. So there's that. And then I feel like there's this aspect of having a care for the animatronics because if you know and love the franchise, like, there are some of the animatronics that you, like, care about and you are like, oh, that's my favorite. You know, like, not my favorite. Like, oh, that's my, like, you know, it's Bonnie or it's, like pretty whatever because of the story because of what happens in the story and so there's like a scene where they're like i don't want to give anything away but like there's a scene where i feel like it could be interpreted as kind of like corny or like it, it kind of negates the scariness of the entire movie but for me it was really cute and wholesome and nice for me to see because you care about the characters i don't know that, that might be too big but i loved that part i'm trying to think what else I think the ending was kind of, I think they could have done something a little better with the ending, just in terms of like making the kind of main villain person a little bit more of a thread throughout. Otherwise, I know I'm like probably talking about a movie that you're like, I don't care. I'm never going to watch this. But <laughs> I really liked it. I really liked it. What I recommend though is watching, like if you look up Five Nights at Freddy's lore, lore you'll find so many videos with like, millions and millions of views and they're probably like and i saw one that was like eight hours long or like six hours long which i haven't watched that yet i really want to but there's ones that are just like an hour and there's even ones that are just like 30 minutes which is it's hard to get through all the lower 30 minutes there's also like matt pat the game theorist has a um whole playlist on like has like i don't know 50 something videos on just the lore of five nights of freddy's so highly recommend watching the lore videos, getting into the lore a little bit, because I didn't even play the games, y'all. I just watched playthroughs and watched the lore. I think I started with lore videos, and that's how I got into it. And then I watched gameplay, because I was like, I might as well see what the game... I watched Markiplier's playthroughs, fantastic. And I watched like a, just a bunch of lore videos. So I recommend doing that, because it's a really fun rabbit hole to get into. And then I recommend then watching the movie. But again, only if you care about weird little lore, little little things. It's just fun because there's so many different schools of thought. The, th the fun thing about lore is not just like, oh, here's weird speculations and like, here's like, this could be a thing. That exists for sure in the, in the like FNAF lore community. But my favorite thing is like the different schools of thought based on the different evidence that we're presented with. There's like different people that believe like, no, this is, this is how this should be interpreted or this is how this should be interpreted. And that's just my favorite. Oh, it's so fun. It's so fun. It's like solving a mystery. You know? And it's fun to watch uh, the lore videos in like chronological order. If you go watch a comprehensive one that came out like a month ago, you're not getting the full vibe of like the mystery, you know, because everything is out now. So there's like everything to unpack versus before people only had so much to unpack. So then like a new game would come out and then like so much new, there was so much new stuff to like piece into the puzzle. And so I just feel like watching things chronologically is... is fun anyways i'll stop talking about it i'll stop talking about it but all of that to say i thought the fnaf videos are really good and i was so excited and i got to just like geek out about it while we were watching and talk to and explain things to ryan my partner so it was very fun okay ring, 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 ring. i feel like we actually got a decent amount of iron in that one also, someone said that I should go and find the... Oh, 22! No, we didn't. Uh, someone said we should go and look for all of the secret statues. I, I definitely don't want to do all of the statues, but I I feel like there's a, some easy ones that we should, might as well just go get. 
Because we got some already, so we might as well. Especially in the days like this where we're just waiting for the seven days of the wine to be up. Uh, bone meal, bone meal, bone meal. Play the crane game at the movie theater during summer when the Wombus movie is playing. Is it summer right now? Okay, let's go see. The Wombus is really cool. I would like the Wombus. Yeah, it is summer. Okay, cool. <gasps> you guys, the Wombus movie's playing. Move out the way, brother. We'll move. How do I play? How do I play? It's playing Wombus. <laughs> I don't know how to do it. The Gourmand statue is the the big frog guy we have. You only have a 5% chance of catching it. And we caught it. We just randomly caught it. We caught it in secret fishing spot on the east side of island southeast as a hidden entrance to Pirate's Cove. We just randomly found it. There's an Iridium Crobus fish from in front of the Cindersat Forest sewer entrance. Oh, okay. Oh, you have to have a fishing level 15. See, those are the ones I don't want to do. Okay, Stone Junimo. I think we got the Stone Junimo. Yes, we got the Stone Junimo. We got the Stone Owl. Okay, we did the we did the robot one. Yep, Strange Bun. We did that one. I think we got Pinky Lemon too. We got Statue of Perfection. Okay, I think the only one I want to check if we have Pinky Lemon. That's the Duck Mayo that you bring to the Star Drop Saloon. I'm pretty sure we did that one. And then... And then this one, Wombus. Oh, sometimes it's just occupied. Okay, can we just get another ticket? Dang, Wombus is playing. I swear we've, we've gone to the movie theater before though. So it's just a 25% chance that it's occupied. So we just got unlucky, sad. Okay, let's watch Wombus. I hope we get to see Wombus. Yes, Wombus. Wombus, always at ease, stretches out and enjoys the warmth of his planet sun. His faithful servant, Bootbot. Stardew Wiki says he has go-go boots on, but I feel like those are just socks. Provides a steady stream of fried gluten pucks and red sauce. Wombus tries to get, those are just socks. Get his nephew, Russell, interested in star system culture and affairs, but Russell's unimpressed. Pshaw. The movie is a humorous slice of life into Wombus's strange world, a world where technology and society have advanced to an extreme degree. Many scenes attempt to find humor in the absurdity of the modern lifestyle. But despite having near infinite entertainment options, Wampus and his groups of friends still enjoy gathering for a delicious meal of pizza formed from 100% gluten materials. Interesting. The movie has concluded for tonight. We hope you enjoyed the show. All right. Now these crazy kids are just hanging out. Can I get a, uh, can I get an item? It was good. I want an item. No. Okay. Well, that was fun. Um, let's go see if we have the other statues, I guess. Would I have like displayed them somewhere? Wait, maybe I don't have them. Maybe I don't have them. Do I have chests anywhere else? You guys, it's possible I don't have those. Okay, I do have the stone Junimo. I don't have the crazy guys. Okay, place a strange bun in Vincent's toy chest. Okay, strange bun. Then we've got place a super cucumber in a hidden box above the blacksmith's shop. Can do. And then we've got duck mayo in Star Drop Saloon. Okay, well, maybe we'll do duck mayo tomorrow, but pretty sure we can do the others. Where's our frog? Yeah, we got the frog. We got two of the frogs. What are the chances? It was a was it a 0.5% chance or a 5% chance? Oh, 5% chance. Okay, that's not that crazy. I don't know. That's still kind of crazy for twice. Strange bun. <gasps> we got him! We got him! Super cucumber in box above the blacksmith shop. Yay! Okay, last is duck mayo. Duck mayo, where? Pink purple box in the star drop saloon. Okay. Hey. Oh, okay. I'm, I am glad we did this. So basically, we have all of them except strange capsule. It's a like point eight percent chance that it'll appear, and that's just luck. And then the iridium crobus and wombus. Iridium crobus, I have to have fifteen level fishing. I'm not doing that. And wombus is difficult, it's proving itself difficult. My goodness. Also, is it like ch is it by chance that you get it? Like, do you have to? Yeah, it could just be one. It, it's just one of the winnable items. That's crazy. I love how big these are. I'm gonna put them in Leia's art room because I feel like she'd appreciate it. Oh, can I not do that? Oh, I can. Yay. Here you go, girl. Okay. Last day, we're gonna do duck mayo and check on wine. I just, I don't remember. I think it's gonna be next, next playthrough that the wine would even. Oh, thank you. I feel you. I feel you, girly pop. I feel like I should have a coffee every single day to do the animals. Why would I not? <gasps> Are the piggies big yet? No. Okay, we've got a duck egg at least. Okay, well, the duck mayo. 
makes itself. We shall make some more kegs. We shall make some more kegs. I need wood. Okay, time to chop some wood. My time has come. Chicken's just got its face in that goat's butt. Just up in there. I will see you on the flip side, friends. I'm gonna chop away. Okay, I feel like that should be enough wood for the amount of ore we have. I guess not. I guess not. The wood is really what's going the quickest on these. My gosh. Okay, let me... I mean, I guess I have this whole... <laughs> I literally have all of this. There's no... Like, the only reason I have this is for resources and looks. Okay, the last remaining things. Casks. Duck mayo. I think that's it. I mean, kegs. Nice. Okay, now we have more. We just need... Now we're waiting on other things. It's not up to just wood. The truffles were blocking the entrance. I've never seen that. What the heck? All right, we've got the duck mayo. Don't sell 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 the duck mayo. Okay, we're making our way in here. We're making our way in here. Okay, okay. Slowly but surely. All right, we got duck mayo. We got our animals done. We got our casks done. We're living the good life, y'all. We're living the good life. Our orchard's looking cute. Imagine the actual craziness of like riding a huge horse by people. Like this is a cute little, it's a little horse. It looks like a little, it's just the same size as the people. Imagine actually nobody else in the town rides a horse and I come by. There's fucking Farmer Ken on my massive horse. Just kicking up stone and shit all over the place. <laughs> How annoying would that actually be? <laughs> I would hate me. Okay, let's go see if they're playing Wombus after this too. Also, there was a VR uh, Stardew Salon. Oh, it's over the air. I see it. I mean, saloon. It wasn't that. It wasn't like... I mean, you can only do so much with... Yay! You can only do so much with, like, not a pixel art platform like they kind of just remade the saloon in like with whatever graphics things they use but it was cool nonetheless okay they're playing wombus again let's try i can only see i can only see a movie once a week that's bonkers that's bananas actually bananas once a week mm -mm -mm. well on that note it's time for bed gotta start a new day with that news, good night, Poo. All right, y'all. It's about that time. It's about that time. I feel like we're getting nowhere with our money. <laughs> I really feel like we're getting nowhere. Okay. <laughs> it's time for Cozy Corner. Ignore the boy thigh right here, okay? <laughs> Ignore the boy thigh. Or don't. Hey, free thigh. I got distracted on Instagram. Every time I open Cozy Corner, I hope, I hope you know this. I mean, you don't know this. I'm letting you know this. Every time I open... <coughs> Instagram to do Cozy Corner, there's like a 50% chance that I get distracted for like five to 10 minutes, just like scrolling for a little bit. Just need you to know that. And that's just edited out by our editor. <laughs> okay, what have we got? We've got Cozy with Kayla with a little Coral Island love. Let's see. Okay, no thoughts on, no thoughts. I thought, I thought I was gonna expose your thoughts on Coral Island, but no thoughts yet. I hope you're liking it. Then we have Cozy Preecy or Cozy Bricky. I think Preecy with a cute little little first of all cute computer background also really cute pikachu mug very very cute we've got nintena with a cute little reel that's like this is your sign to check on your island i will not but thank you for the reminder <laughs> oh my gosh we have simply be cozy with a um little cozy grove moment oh my gosh also this room looks so cozy i want to i want to curl up right there at your feet like just like a little cat like you don't have to pee you don't have to you don't have to feed me is what i was trying to say you don't have to feed me you don't have to you you don't have to look at me. I'll just sit there and I'll fall asleep. I'll be so happy. Watching uh, one of my videos makes me so happy. Thank you. Oh, you were wa you were watching Stardew. Hello. You've got the Toad co Cottage with another beautiful set of picture. Everyone you post is beautiful. I love it. I love it. We have Nora can read with a bookshop trip without damaging my credit card. That is something to be proud of. Very, very proud of. We've got Raul's Voyage with a beautiful setup picture. I always love your setup, Raul. <gasps> Cozy Joy. I see a Creative Haven coloring book. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh my gosh. Gaming for Lesbians. I love your username. Lovely sturdy picture. Amazing sturdy picture. Okay. And then our Cozy Friends of the Week. 
We have uh, the bookish gamer who's wearing my merch. I know I have merch. I, I made my merch years ago and I don't ever update it. I don't ever promote it. I just made it years ago back before like Cozy Gamer was even as big as, as it is now. And seeing people wear it still to this day is so cute. I sh absolutely should redo it because I had zero anything experience <laughs> making that. Um, but that's so cute. Thank you. Then we have um, Gaming for Lesbians with a little sunny angel picture. You said curse me for making me buy these and now I won't want to get the whole Harvest Collection. It's what you deserve. It's what you deserve. Get you that Harvest Collection, okay? Also, you're welcome for making you want to get them. You're welcome. We have Abby Cardigan doing coloring and watching the starting playthrough. I love you so much. I love you so much. I love you so much. We have also Gaming for Lesbians, another watching Stardew. Just, just, just Stardew and Sunny Angels. We love it. Then we have, um, this is a meta one. I love the meta ones. They're my favorite. We have Legolas posting me talking about uh, the rant where we ranted about trees not being properly seasonal in Animal Crossing. Hi, Legolas. That's everybody. Thank you, Cozy Friends of the Week. And thank you, everyone who contributed to Cozy Corner. I always love to see it. It makes my heart happy. It makes me so happy. I love you guys. Cheers. Bloop. I love you. Stay cozy. Bye.